Hello. I'm going to start this uh, Facebook Live quick tip on used cars. I had uh, Eddie Rodriguez reach out to me uh, last week. I meant to do this on Friday, uh, but just got caught up. So I'm going to do it now. He was saying that he's going to be possibly buying used cars, wanted some uh, insight on how to stock maybe a little better. And so I told him I, you know, I put something out. I, I think I've done this tip before on the, the lot party tips, but wanted to do it on Facebook Live. And I was, I was going to share my screen, but uh, before I do that, um, I mean, actually, I don't know if I'll do it on this or not, but I think I have it available if anybody wants to see it. But what I want to talk about is being proactive with stocking instead of reactive. And a lot of them, hey, Doug, how you doing, guy? Uh, George, you too, bud. Um, the being proactive instead of reactive. What I mean by that is a lot of stocking or, or inventory management tools will request or tell you to buy cars after you sell a car. You have intermediate cars, you have five in stock, but you sold seven, so it's telling you you need two. So you're reacting to your sale rate. I carry, I sell, <clears throat> carrying five, sold seven, I need two. And so the problem with that is, and why I think this is really killing dealerships turnaround time, which is efficiency, which then sells fresher cars sooner, is when we wait to react to our sales. So let's say I sell an intermediate SUV today. The system's going to say, hey, I need one now because I sold it. I'm light. But the auction that might have some is until Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm pre-shopping the auction. I go to the auction. I end up getting one Wednesday or Thursday. I'll be lucky if I can get it transported to my store by Friday if it's local. If not, maybe Monday, Tuesday next week. Get it through my service department. Get it through photos, price, and descriptions. It can be 7 to 14 days before that replacement is ready for sale. So as this car drops off the Internet or drops off my inventory today, then it's going to take me a week or two, seven, 10, 14 days before that replacement's ready for sale to go. And so as dealerships, you know, spike up a bunch of intermediate cars or, and let's say you buy a bulk of Hyundai Sonatas or something at the auction because you get some in stock, well, you're real heavy in them. You don't need them. And so you wait till you sell them all of a sudden you're light and then you got to go back out in stock again. And I think those fluctuations in inventory, because I'm buying at at an increased level amount until it really sticks on my radar, hey, you're five short. So you go out and buy some and then then all of a sudden you're trying to shove too many cars through a process that can't handle it. Your your turnaround time, your, your store photos, price, description, service, all that might only be able to handle five or so a day and you're trying to push in 10, 15, 20 of them to keep up with your sale rate. So what I mean is to get more proactive, we do a thing called the lot predictor, which we take all the data from the vehicles that are being sold and that are on your lot. And so let's say I know on intermediate SUVs, they tend to sell it, let's say, 30 days at 93%. Okay, so if I know an intermediate SUV is selling on average at day 30 at 93 percent, but I have three in stock that are older than 30 days old and they're priced more aggressively than what they tend to sell for. Let's say I have a 60 day old one or 55 day old one or 70 day old one priced at 85 percent. Well, predictably, that car should be leaving your, your inventory soon and you should be already looking for its replacement. And and say that car leaves by Friday, but you've already bought a car on Wednesday and it should be on your lot by Friday or Monday and you're getting ahead of that. And so you should be able to tell, especially if you have a strict aging policy, if you have a 60 day aging policy and you got a 55 day old car, you know that car should be and gone off your lot in five days. And so you should already be looking for its replacement and fill in that void. So instead of, you know, we see this at some dealerships, you have five in stock, but we sold seven. So on that sale rate, I need two, but we can also see three more about ready to be leaving your lot because they're older and priced more aggressive than what they tend to sell for. Well, now I've got to get five of them instead of just the two. And I want to keep that consistency in what I've seen in dealerships inventory levels, intermediate SUVs, we stock, we stock, we stock. And then by that time they sell, they go back down. And so I'm short a bunch and then I stock, I stock, I stock, and then they sell and then I go down. And what you really want to get that turnaround time flowing to get proactive, 
get that inventory level more consistent. Don't have these peaks and valleys. You're too heavy. You're too light. You're too heavy. You're too light. Consistently stock that inventory should help turn that inventory faster. But plus, it will make you more aggressive on the cars that are there. If you got a 50 day old car and you're projecting it should leave in the next six days, so it's already you're already buying its replacement, and that car is already on its way, and you know it's going to be hitting soon, you're going to be more aggressive with that one sitting on your lot and not let it sit much further because you don't want two of them sitting there now. So I think thinking proactively on your stocking, not just reactively, and you guys might already be doing this, but it's amazing when I walk into dealerships and talk to dealerships a lot that this isn't something that you think about because, again, they're waiting for their system to tell them they need something. But you know, again, just on an aging policy and how you're pricing these cars to blow them out, or you maybe you got money on the hood to get them out of here, well, that car's probably going to leave. So get its replacement, get it in. That'll keep your consistently inventory levels instead of these fluctuating. Because as you peak, again, you're trying to, it's not bad to go out of auction, buy 20 cars. What's bad is your service department and everything else can only handle eight, you know, five to eight at a time. And you're trying to push through 20 and that slows everything down. And it's going to cause your inventory to bleed through and have an aging problem. So hope this was helpful. Again, Eddie, I put this out here. Hopefully you get a chance to see it. Uh, anybody else that wants to uh, maybe cover some some topics that you might be struggling with, just let me know. Message me like you did on Facebook. Give me a call at 314-568-2754, Jay Rice at Lot Pop. Again, our Facebook page, uh, please like that at Lot Pop, but also LotPartyShow.com. Tons of tip and YouTube channel, just go to Lot Pop. There's a ton of uh, probably over 40 tips on there and probably about 20 interviews from anything from small uh, small town dealers to large town dealers to in, uh, independents to Highline stores doing Velocity. Good insight to Tommy Gibbs training. Uh, he's on there. We we interview him to Rapid Recon and Turnaround Time Efficiency. So there's a ton of content out there. Again, just get a hold of me if you have anything you'd like me to cover in any of these uh, quick Facebook Live tips. Thanks, guys, for joining